everyone uh, really believes in uh, in this qualification uh, group, you know, and we need to make it. So in examples now, Valdanti, Pazzini, that they played also Satriano, no? he's also young. Ajax was directly my first choice. You signed for Empoli uh, this past summer following two amazing seasons with Cagliari. What were some of those factors that led you to, to sign for this team? I was happy because uh, when I heard about uh, their interest about me, I was happy because uh, I know that Empoli is a, it's a good club, like with really everything that you need to, to perform, you will, uh, you will find here. So. Uh, yeah, I was happy and uh, I didn't think twice when when I had to choose. Was there any other clubs that were interested and that you kind of considered? Yeah, some questions, but uh, it was nothing concrete in that moment. So that's why I also, I didn't want to wait anymore. I just chose the uh, Empoli was my first choice and, and that's it. And there is a mix of youth and more experienced players at Empoli. Is there anybody, especially even from the young guys or even the experienced ones, that has really impressed you ever since you've been at Empoli? Yeah, we have, uh, it's true, we have a lot of uh, young, good players. Uh, we have uh, a few examples now, Valdanti, Pazzini, that they played also Satriano, no? he's also young, but he's in loan from, uh, from Inter Milano. Uh, yeah, and then with experience, we have Mattia Adesso, that, he was an important player in, in Serie A, so yeah, we have, uh, it's true, we have a good mix, I think, between uh, young players and experienced players, so I think that's, that's good for the team. Paolo Zanetti is your current manager. Um, what, what do you like about him the most and like his tactics? I think uh, the most that I like from him is like that he's really ambitious, you know. He really wants to do, do something with the club, with the team and uh, not just to, to fight for not uh, relegating uh, in second division. So I think that that's really important. And then he wants to play a nice football, uh, offensive football. So yeah, I like, I like that, uh, that style of, uh, of coaching. When you were playing uh, in Romania, uh, what, what were the players that you were most impressed with when uh, playing at Vitoro? And I might, I might mispronounce the, the name. No, Vitoro, it's, it's right. Now it's called Faro because uh, I think you maybe heard about it. It's club of Gheorghe Hagi, you know? And uh, yeah, they were in that moment, there were a lot of uh, impressive players. I had also like my teammates. It's son of Hagi, Yanis Hagi, that is playing now in, uh, in Rangers. Also, a lot of uh, players that are playing now in uh, Steaua Bucharest. Actually, now it's called F, uh, FCSB. And uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly now the names, but yeah, we had a lot of uh, young, impressive uh, players. Okay. You were named one of Romania's best prospects before uh, joining Ajax, uh, who's obviously known to have terrific academy and, and a lot of youth players. Uh, did you have any other offers at the time? Like, what led you to, to go to Ajax at the time? Ajax was directly my first choice. When I heard about Ajax, you know, also I had like, I was like uh, 23 years old, so I was still young. And I think I'm still young. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was my first, or already also some other clubs interest on, on, on me. But uh, Ajax was, was coming first. And also I signed with them already in March, if I remember well end of February, beginning of March. So they really wanted me and uh, yeah, I, I didn't think more, you know. I just said to my agent also, I want to go to Ajax, so, yeah. You're a regular on international duty with, with your country, with Romania. Uh, what has been your most memorable moment with the national team to date? Of course, my first game, no? Because I, I made also a nice first game. I scored and I gave, uh, I gave an assist. So I had my, my perfect uh, debut in the national team and yeah, it was my, uh, my first game and I hope next year to, to start well the qualification for Euros and then I can create even more uh, memories with the with national team. How do you feel about your group qualifying for the Euros? Are we going to see Romania at Euro 2024? Yeah, I, I think so. I really, I really believe it and uh, I know that I have also, and I spoke to my teammates, of course. Everyone uh, really believes in, uh, 
in this qualification uh, group, you know. And we need to make it. We need to we need to get there. In the end of qualifications, we need to be we need to be there. In recent years, we've seen a lot of Romanians come and play in Serie A. Um, well, what advice would you give a young Romanian footballers, uh, you know, when going and playing abroad? Well, first of all, it's the hard work, you know, because without without uh, hard work, you you cannot achieve anything in football, especially today. And uh, then to be to be serious, to, to work for their place in uh, in the team, and uh, yeah, to try to to fit in the team, to have a good connection with uh, everyone and then it's all about the hard work. If you want to, to succeed, you, you, need to, you need to have to work hard. Your father was a professional footballer. Uh, was your dream to always follow his, his path? Uh, he always played as a defender, but is this where, where you get your uh, qualities, your defensive qualities from? <laughs> yeah, it's true that I was following him uh, when I was young. I was going always to see his matches. So his games, but yeah, I think I already, I already passed him <laughs> in a lot of, uh, in a lot of things. So yeah, I'm happy that I followed, uh, I followed him, and he's like like an idol for me. You know, he was my my example. I had him. He was my father. I could talk to him. He could give me a lot of advices. So yeah.